Yo, what is up, Average Gamers? It is the Average Gamer here uh, for a new uh, series, I guess we can say. I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to have two overlays on Microsoft Encoder. Um, an expression Encoder. People say it's not possible, but I found the easy solution for that. Uh, you can have two running at the same time. And um, I'll just get started. Uh, what you're going to want to have, first of all, is you're going to have your main background for your um, outro. Most likely it's for your outro. You're going to have your little subscribe button right here to add on if you want. And then you're going to need PowerPoint and Movie Maker. And of course, Microsoft Expression Encoder. So let's get started. I already have open a background that I'd like to use for my outro. So I'll just make it the size of the, the slide. And I will insert a, uh, a text box. So I'll make this the three average gamers. Sorry about that, my dog's in really annoying if you can hear it. She barks at everything. So I'm gonna have this on one of my favorite fonts, I guess you can say. Uh, get it to maybe 80. If that looks about right. Yeah, that looks all right. So then you're going to want to add a shape. And you're going to want to add a rectangle. I don't know, just maybe that big. Have it black or something. Copy it. Paste it on the side, just a picture. Get it aligned, pretty much. That's good right there. And then you're going to want to insert another text box. So this is where you guys have your freedom of choice, I guess you can say. Uh, I'm going to put here my previous video. Oops, video. And I'm going to do the same thing with the fonts. Now it should be right here. I'm going to make that about 28. Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe 32. I'm gonna move it uh, right underneath, right there. And I'm gonna change the color since you cannot, since it's lower on the thing, you cannot see it that well. I'll change it to a white. Then you're gonna want to insert another text box. And again, you have your freedom of choice of putting what to put. I'm gonna put GTA 5 racing oops five racing series so as you can see this is probably where your videos go but you will end up deleting that later because you can not pretty much align them perfectly with expression oops so what you're gonna want to do get this right oops have that white have it, what was like 32? Have it aligned. And then you're gonna wanna insert your other picture for your, um, your subscribe button. You can add, I usually like to add two, one on each side but it's up to you it's personal preference um copy paste and just gonna add them right here then you're gonna have one more text box it again personal choice uh thanks for watching thanks for watching just grabs the attention more have something more to read when they are looking at your outro i'm gonna have this white again since it's at the bottom have this i don't know 
maybe that looks good. And it looks like you have your your basic, your basic intro. I mean your outro. <laughs> Sorry. So now what you want to do before you save it is you're gonna want to cut these. These were just your I guess templates you could say. So now you're gonna want to go file, save as. You go on a browse, and you go on uh, um, save it under a WMV file. So I'm an uh, outro video, I guess. So now what you guys want to do is you guys are going to want to open up Microsoft Encoder. It's right here. It's a free, it's a free uh, program you can get. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys. Um, and it's what I use to edit my videos, honestly. So what you guys want to do now is you guys are going to open Transcoding Project. Actually, no, 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 no. I'll just open that for now. You guys want to open up Movie Maker out, actually. You guys are going to want to add videos and photos. I think I put it underneath here. Outro video. So it's oh, it's a uh, five seconds long, and I usually like to have mine seven to ten seconds. So I'm gonna go over here and put 0.5 seconds. So it's now 10 seconds, and I'm fine with that. So now, what you guys can do, you guys can put some animations. I like to put something like like this changes colors. I think this is one that changes colors. Yeah, it does. I'm never gonna show you guys yet. And then I'm gonna have this one. So it'll look like this. So as you can see from a red, it goes to a green, all those colors. And also this changes right here. So I think that's pretty neat. And it ends with that. Um, we can have a little fade in. Oh, sorry. Fade in medium and then slow. Then uh, to grab more people's attention, you can add the music add music um, I have a license for this song so I'll use it for this song and I know exactly where to start it at Thir uh, 63 seconds so I will so and it cuts off pretty short so I'm gonna have a fade out, a slow fade out, and a slow bring in or fade in. So yes, you know it. and then there's a fade out. So that that's that's it. That's what we're just gonna do for now on on here. So you wanna go to save for computer. Uh, outro video two, so I won't have to. Oops, put true. Outro video two. You're gonna save this and be fairly quickly. And after that, you're gonna wanna go to Microsoft Encoder. And you wanna open folder, see where it's at at least. It's gonna be under the pictures. And you go now. You go on to go to File, Import, and then you want to go to Pictures, and you want to get your movie out. So it was Outro. So it can be on the O's. Outro Video Two. So now, what you guys are gonna want to do on here? Want to let it load? And when it loads. I'll come back to you guys. All right, we're back here, guys. And the video loaded. And to get this clip right here, you're going to want to go to Add Overlay. I'll just do it again. Add Overlay. And it should go up to like where you want to get it, like documents, and you have a clip ready. So now what I'm going to do, since there's like a little fade in, I'm going to want to put fade in. Just type in one. Oops, one. And I'll have a one second fade in. So as you can see, now this is here. 
So since it's going to be under my previous video, I'm just going to minimize it to where it's hovering over the previous video. And I think I think that's a good size. So now what you guys want to do because now you cannot add a new overlay because you can only add one overlay supposedly. So now you guys want to do you guys want to encode it. And this will take like maybe 10 15 seconds because since it's a short file so it won't take that long but on this you will have to uh, encode longer for longer videos so now that you have it it's gonna be ready to go for the second part so then you're gonna want to come over here put add videos actually no, you're gonna want to remove this old one first of all you guys want to add videos you guys want to come to your documents to your expression your expression encoder your output and you're going to want to go to the time that you're at this is the outro video so as you can see the video pops up right here what you guys want to do now is you guys could like I don't know you guys could have like a you can add another animation I don't I'm not sure if you can do this but you want to go to save movie you could let me yeah you can go save movie and then uh, let's call it outro three again it's gonna have to save so then what you want to do here yep I know what you want to do here he's gonna put file new job uh, you can put no, I guess. You don't want to put file, import, and you're going to want to, oops, that's lagging. So I saved it as outro three. And it's right there. So you guys want to open it up. You guys want to add overlay. Again, you guys are going to want to go all the way down to your second clip, which I think saved it as yeah last video clip which I meant to put it as the other one so again you guys are gonna put fade in one second and then you guys are gonna play the video for a second okay then you wanna put hover it over put it over this one so I don't know you can get the exact length that it's at I think it's around there Make it come over here. Uh, I think that's pretty lined up. I mean, you guys can do this. This is just a short tutorial video. So then you got the two videos playing at the same time. And my OCD took me in, so I think that's good right there. That's perfect. So then you guys are going to file, encode. And you guys don't have again. You guys don't have to let it load. So as you guys can see, it is not impossible to have two overlays happen at the same time in the encoder. You can just do this simple method. Doesn't take a while. You just need to have all these stuff ready. All right. So now you guys can edit. You can save this job. I don't know. Outro stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It's something random. Okay, so then you guys are going to want to close everything out. No, I don't want to save anything. No, don't save. And, okay. So now, you guys are going to want to go again here. You guys want to go to your documents. To your expression. Your expression encoder. Your output. And you guys are going to want to go to your recent one. And you guys can now see that you have two overlays going on at the same time and so it's not impossible as you can see so thank you guys for watching i'll leave the description in the below for microsoft encoder um, if you guys like this uh, subscribe like and comment and uh, always remember i can't forget this always remember to stay average guys all right thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video